Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1 to 3. Through this video, we are going to discuss about electric potential due to systems of charges. Through one of our previous videos, we have already discussed about what is an electric potential, potential difference, and how to find out potential due to a single point charge. If you haven't watched the video, please do visit my channel and watch the video on potential due to a single charge. Hope you all could recollect what is the equation for potential due to a single point charge. It is one by four pi epsilon zero Q by R, right? One by four pi epsilon zero Q by R. Now we are going to consider n number of charges which are surrounding a point P. Let us consider a point P at which a unit positive charge is placed and there are charges say Q1, Q2, Q3, etc. up to Qn located at distances R1, R2, R3, etc. Now, speciality of electric potential is potential is a scalar quantity. Unlike electric force or field, as we already discussed before, electric force and electric field are vectors. So to find out the net field or the net force, we have to take vector algebra. But potential is a scalar quantity so that you can find out the total potential by taking the algebraic sum of individual potentials, right? So if the individual potentials, I'm calling it as V1, V2, V3, etc., then the total potential will be Vp is equal to V1 plus V2 plus etc. up to Vn. As we know, potential due to individual charges are 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R. So for each of them, we can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 by R1. Or for the nth charge, we can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Qn by Rn. So in the form of summation, you can write the net potential V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 sigma i equal to 1 to n qi by ri. This will give you an equation for potential due to group of point charges. Now let us discuss about potential due to a special system of charge which is nothing but an electric dipole. We already discussed about an electric dipole and we studied how to find out electric field due to an electric dipole at the axial and equatorial point, right? If you haven't watched that video, please do visit my channel and watch the video to find out electric field due to an electric dipole. What is an electric dipole, by the way? Yes, it is a system of two equal but opposite charges kept at a very short distance. Let us see an electric dipole consisting of two charges minus q and plus q. Let us name the points as a and b. As we know, electric dipole, its strength can be represented by using dipole moment, right? Dipole moment is denoted by the symbol p. What is its direction? Yes, it is pointing from negative to positive charge as is represented here. Let O be the center of the dipole and A be the distance of each charge from its center so that the total distance between minus Q and plus Q will be A. Consider a point lying on the axis of the dipole P at which a unit positive test charge is placed in order to measure the potential at that point. At the point P, when you look at the point P, there are two charges near to the point P, right? One is plus Q, another one is minus Q. So definitely at point P, there will be two electric potentials present. Before that, let us mark the distance from the midpoint of the dipole to the point P as X. Individual potentials, I'm going to name them as VP plus Q. That is potential at P due to plus Q charge. What will it be? As we know, individual potential is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Q by R. So for the negative charge, minus Q charge, it is going to be 1 by, for the positive charge, it's going to be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by distance PB. Distance PB is what? This much is X and this distance is A. So distance PB is going to be X minus A, right? Similarly, 
V minus Q will be distance A P. A P is going to be X plus A. So it will be 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 minus Q divided by X plus A. Total potential can be found out by taking the algebraic sum of the two. That is Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 can be taken as a common factor 1 by X minus A minus 1 by X plus A. You can take the LCM. As you know, A minus B into A plus B is nothing but A square minus B square, right? So here you can write X square minus A square. In the denominator, you can cross multiply this, right? This is how we do by using the method of LCM. So it'll be X plus A minus of X minus A, which means minus X plus A. This X and X gets cancelled. A plus A will be 2A. So the equation can be rewritten as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q into 2A divided by X square minus A square. Can you recollect what is Q into 2A? We have already studied. Yes, Q into 2A is nothing but dipole moment P. So you can write B as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 P by X square minus A square. This is the equation for electric potential due to an electric dipole at the axial line. Now, we'll move on to the topic of potential due to electric dipole itself, but on the equatorial line. For that, consider an electric dipole as we discussed minus Q plus Q. Dipole moment direction will be from negative to positive charge. Let O be the center. We are considering the point P on the equatorial line. Let us name the point here as Q. Distance is Y. At Q, there will be two potentials acting, right? Potential due to minus Q and potential due to plus Q. Let me call them as VQ plus. It is potential due to positive charge. Distance between the positive charge and the point of consideration is BQ. So 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by BQ. For the negative charge, the distance is going to be named as AQ. So minus Q by AQ. Since we can see in the diagram, the two triangles are equilateral triangles, similar triangles, right? And according to Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square equal to base square plus altitude square. For both of them, whether it is AQ or BQ, see when you take AQ, AQ square should be equal to what? A square plus Y square. BQ square will also be equal to A square plus Y square, which means the distance AQ and BQ are same. So when you find out the net potential, it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q into 1 by BQ minus 1 by AQ. But as I told you, AQ is equal to BQ, so this gets cancelled. So the potential at the point Q. What is the speciality of the point Q? It is lying on the equatorial plane will be equal to zero. Potential at the axial point we already discussed, it is one by four pi epsilon zero P by X square minus A square. Whereas potential due to electric dipole at the equatorial point will be zero. Hope today's topics are very, very clear to all of you. If in doubt, please do post your doubt in the comment section so that I can address it in one of the coming videos. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day to all of you. Keep watching my videos so that learning physics will become as easy as one to three.